So, Gareth, a bit of disappointment, really, from the weekend uh, with the draw. Probably maybe lucky to get that draw in the last last minute with a bit of composure from Reese's boot. <laughs> yeah, you know, we shouldn't really have been in that position. Uh, I think we were all bitterly disappointed with uh, the way things went. Uh, credit to Zebra, they, they're getting a lot better in terms of the way they're playing and they're not, a, you know, they're not an easy side, especially away, but... Uh, our form in the previous weeks probably led up to uh, teed us up to getting our rabble back on uh, track and to go to Zebra and put a performance in like we did and have to rely on Reese's boot at the end to get us a draw is probably not acceptable from our, you know, our point of view and I think it's added adds to the importance of the game this week. Though. Have the coaches laid into you a little bit? Um, yeah, they, they you know I think we've all we've all laid into each other to a certain degree. They. We knew that it was it wasn't acceptable. The coaches knew it wasn't acceptable, and I think uh, certainly yesterday in today's training has uh, definitely gone up the level to hopefully prevent anything happening like that this week. Is it good? I mean, obviously seven or eight internationals now now left. It's not a huge opportunity. Probably a player yourself. You've got a British line and a world international to compete against. It's actually a really, really important time for the Scarlets now this next month, isn't it? In terms of those those away wins and those big games in the row as well. Yeah, it's, it's strange really, you know. Obviously the, the guys that that have taken the field, it's been quite consistency in selection, which is, is deserved and showed that we, we performed as well as we did in Europe. But uh, this seems to be down to you know, such an important phase of our season now, and it's down to probably some less experienced guys and guys that probably don't, you know, are not always a f uh, first team regular and uh, I think we just need to, a new group of players need to come together, it's nothing really different in terms of the way we, we play and, and, and I know the coaches are always keen in training to involve as many people as possible so it's not a case of, you know, the, the starting team does what they have to do and everyone else stands and watch, everyone's integrated and so the guys are, are you know, ready to hit the ground running this week and it's just a case of you know some new names, but we haven't really got time to uh, to what they class as gel as a team. So it's you know we need to make sure our standards are high and we turn out performances worthy of uh, beating a very good Ulster side on the weekend. Yeah, and probably likely maybe that you're going to hook up with Adam Warren, who's been playing you know some brilliant rugby as well. And it's, is it sort of is it just like a new surge of energy really having all these players coming coming together? At this period, yeah, I think I think the guys are obviously chomping up a bit. It's, it's it's difficult when you've got quality guys that are obviously missing out on selection, and it probably goes to show some some positions how much quality we have actually got. But you know, the, this is the opportunity you know for to stake the claim actually on the field, putting pressure on in training. You know, it, it breeds a good environment, but it's actually you know we need results and we need performances, and it's up to the guys who are. The guys who are staying, who's not gone off wheels, and the guys who are coming in to make sure that we drive that, you know, that forward in t in terms of performance and a result this weekend. Huge fixture this weekend. I mean, Ulster obviously they're, they're flying high at the moment, six wins in a row. Um, they've got quality throughout their squad, even without their internationals. So it's a really big one. But a home game is that good for you as a team, as players? You know that you're coming back to home and you've got this big fixture now before we go into the LV Cup. Yeah, I think it is. It's it's always great to play at home and. Uh, I hope we have the support that was shown on the road, even uh, in those, in that, especially the Harlequins game. Uh, it's obviously difficult because you know, as much as we want to win, so our supporters. And I think, as much as we can get a great turnout for uh, for the game on the weekend and get behind the guys, you know, we need to uh, sort of repay that that support with a performance. And I think we can breed a good environment for the forthcoming weeks and and kickstart really our season, which is. We need to really, in terms of climbing that league, uh, for, for for more reasons now other than to get a playoff spot. But obviously, with the the Europe as as, as it as looks like it's going to go, every game becomes that a little bit more important, really. And this is the last Rabo game actually before <coughs> um, at home before the Ospreys fixture on Boxing Day. So another good reason for people to turn out and really get behind the team. Yeah, I think they will. And and, and you're right. This is it's going to be a difficult game, and the Ulster. Have you know, are going to come over here with a real quality output, even with their call-ups and a few injuries that they picked up. But uh, it'll make that much difference. I think if we can get the guys singing off the stands and uh, get a performance going from the guys, it should hopefully be a, you know a special occasion for us to 
you know, climb our league. And for you in particular, obviously, captain of the side before the Scarlets, you know, you're seen as one of the senior players. How important is this period for you in terms of what you bring to the side in, in terms of leadership group now? Um, I think, yeah, I think, you know, I, I think all the guys are, are sort of instilled into trying to be a leader. And I think the more guys that lead by example, the, the better the team performance is going to be. And uh, I think the, the, the quality of the international guys um, rubbing off on other guys makes a, a big difference. But it's now time for probably like a group of us, a, 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 a left that are probably seen as more senior players to step up and for the younger and newer players coming in they also need to take responsibility as well because uh, you know, it's a collective effort that's going to win us these games against the quality opposition. Okay Gareth, well all the best at the weekend, we look forward to it. Thank you very much.